The heated debate of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment has taken a new twist. Today, Gashagwa has faced 11 counts of accusations, including incitement and tribalism. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online political platform where I talk about the Kenyan politics and what happens within political circles. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. Take a few seconds, hit the subscribe button, and please don't, don't forget to hit the notification button so that every time I upload new content, you'll be notified. Today, Gashagwa will know his fate if he will survive the impeachment or go home. Last night, Gashagwa had a nationwide media press conference where he laid it all bare of the accusations that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime had accused him of. Gladys Boss Sholei confidently took the floor of the house where she declared that she strongly insists that Gashagwa must go home for being incompetent. Sholei accused Gashagwa of incitement and treason, which she said was a capital offense. Silvanas Osoro, who later on took on the floor of the house, did not waste his time to bring Gashagwa down. Osoro claimed it was unrealistic for the late Nyeri governor, the late Nderito Gashagwa, who is a brother to Rigadi Gashagwa, give him all his assets and make him his beneficiary as he left his biolog biological children and widow out. Osoro accused Gashagwa of gross violation and he took advantage of his brother's widow and children to take over his brother's property. Last night, Gashagwa laid his words out on national television where he also revealed that their shareholding comments were untrue, where he indicated that Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi also had shares in the government. The National Assembly has taken a lunchtime break and they are expected to return to an afternoon session where the second in command is expected to attend to be grilled and know his fate. Gashagwa came out last night and declared that the shareholding sentiments that he made in public that when Tang Moses Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi also signed an MOU and a non-disclosure agreement better known as an NDA of the shareholding pact in the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Kenyans had mixed reactions of this impeachment motion that has been going on for a while now. Kenyans, on the other hand, were saying that if Gashagwa must go home, then the whole entourage must go home, which includes President William Ruto, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi, and National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula. As, the Ken as Kenyans await the afternoon session that's going to be preceded by Mr. Moses Wetangula, and the DP himself, Rigadi Gashagwan, who's expected to be on the floor of the house, will determine if he's going to be the first DP to go home under an impeachment or he's going to survive this one.